Network slicing lets operators securely segment their networks and guarantee service quality, opening up a whole new world of applications. So what is it about network slicing that makes it so cutting edge? Tech bites. Mobile networks have traditionally struggled to provide multiple levels of service over a common infrastructure. Say an operator wants to prioritize Zoom calls, since they're likely a little more business critical, over epic fail videos on YouTube. Doing this is actually really tricky, not to mention it can get operators into trouble over net neutrality. Unfortunately, without guarantees, businesses are reluctant to use mobile networks for any core business systems. Network slicing provides operators with the tools to build and manage a network that is agile enough to meet and even exceed the requirements of vertical industries, and in doing so, opens up new revenue opportunities. To do this, the core network effectively slices the mobile network into a set of logical networks over the shared infrastructure. And like a good suit, each logical network is specifically tailored to match the service requirements of a particular business, end to end. Dedicated per customer, per application, or per service, each network slice is a logically separated, secure, and independent piece of the network and matches the specific characteristics of that service, including bandwidth, latency, and reliability. With slicing, mobile networks can effectively handle extreme scenarios like ultra-low latency for real-time remote machinery, crazy high bandwidth for high-definition augmented and virtual reality, and enhanced reliability for critical services like financial transactions or intelligent traffic lights, all at the same time and all while making sure that consumer services don't impact service. Combined with enhanced mobile broadband, ultra-reliable low-latency communication, and massive machine-type communication, network slicing turns the mobile network into a programmable and flexible mobile extension of the internet. Now, sprinkle in some advanced artificial intelligence and service level agreements, and operators can extend their business model beyond consumers and create a unique set of vertical industry solutions. And that's where the money is. The service-orientedness that network slicing provides uses the concepts of software-defined networking, or SDN, meaning the network is programmable, and network function virtualization, or NFV, which allows each function to run virtually anywhere in the network. Network slicing with SDN and NFV would allow a slice tailored to autonomous driving with guaranteed bandwidth and latency and processing move closer to the mobile edge. While another service for, say, streaming video could require high bandwidth but lower latency restrictions and move processing power deeper into the network. A network slice controller acts as the mastermind or service orchestrator and interfaces with the different functions performed by each layer to orchestrate each slice request. The controller provides end-to-end -end service management to map the various services to suitable network functions, virtualizes the physical network resources, and manages the life cycle of each slice dynamically in case there's any changes to the SLAs. In a nutshell, network slicing allows operators to maximize the return on investment by more efficiently assigning network resources to services where they're needed and it's a critical element to open the door for operators to move beyond just consumer services into the world of vertical industry. Thanks for watching. I suppose it's kind of like cheese slices. I mean, each one is wrapped individually.